two in class six. She was a bachelor's degree in Spanish literature and a multiple subject teaching credential from the University of California, San Diego. Ms. Lopez is currently a service for the National School District. Ms. Lopez was honored by National University with the Community Leadership Award and served on the State of California Selecting Service Local Board. She currently serves on the California School Board of Creation while we get assembly. Please welcome to the Vista Elementary School Board Member Beta Lopez. Because that's the money that I was given to spend for micro society 
doing the micro society night for parents. <laughs> well, that was my first experience in micro society. It was just incredible to see the kids using all their skills. Of course, they use another skill, which is actually persuading you to buy everything that they have created themselves, so you can buy it at the store. Well, I made my one mistake. I was given a hundred dollars to spend that night, and guess what? I spent them all in one store. <laughs> and needless to say, one of the students came up to me and said, "Well, Mrs. Lopez." You can go to the bank and get a loan, <laughs> and they will lend you the money. Well, I wasn't very enthusiastic about going to the bank because I knew that my son was the bank manager, and I knew that his best friend was the loan officer. So there was no way that I was going to tell them that I spent all my money, right? Well, does this sound familiar to you? I we were driving home that night. I did tell my son that I ran out of money, and of course, I did get a lecture. And he basically told me that I should have spent so much money in the Starbucks Jaguar coffee shop. <laughs> my son Marcos has attended Chula Vista Community Charter School since kindergarten, and believe me, he has become a little businessman, especially when we're out shopping and he has to lend me some of the money. Last two weeks ago, I asked my son Marcos, who is now in the seventh grade, Marcos, what is it that you miss from elementary school? And he said, "Mama, that's mom in Spanish. You know what I miss the most is micro society. You know, as an educator, I expected him to say, my teachers, the principal, but he was basically telling me." And being honest, he said, "Micro society," and I said, "Why?" And he said, "You know why? Because the children." Um, and he was being honest. And you know, this doesn't surprise me because whenever Marcos, and whenever he talked about CBLCC, he always told him about a special program. Not only because he was bilingual and he was learning another language, but because. He was actually excited about learning about micro society, and this is what he enjoyed doing. And you know, I can tell you that my son Marcos, somewhere in the future, will learn to be a micro society trainer. I am reminded of the comments of a former U.S. president, Lyndon B. Johnson. He once said, "The great society." Is the place where children can find knowledge to enrich their minds and enlarge their talents. He went on to say, "The great society will begin to take place in the classrooms of America, for it's there that children' lives are shaped." He urged that every young mind be set free to scan the farthest reaches of thought and imagination. Well, think about that today. More than 40 years ago, after this historic speech, we have found President Johnson's Great Society, and it is here. It is micro society because this has helped our students to reach far, stretch, stretch their imaginations, and succeed at a very high academic level. In conclusion. This conference will be focusing much discussion on the global child. I think you will agree that the global child has a right. How exciting it is to see this child, who is reflected and represented in all of our children. How exciting it is to see this child growing into a bright and better future. It has been a pleasure being with you tonight. I thank you for all the work that you do with all of our students. Enjoy the remainder of the conference and enjoy visiting our beautiful San Diego. Thank you very much.